My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. We got a treat for you guys today. Will Stribling is truly one of the coolest guys we've worked with. This golf swing is unbelievable, you guys. It's so on plane, it's ridiculous. All we have to work on is just remaining connected and using impeccable rhythm to do so. We hope you guys enjoy this lesson. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The best thing for you, just like the chipping. And you guys remember what, what changed the chipping, I thought, was this. Where you would look at a spot, hold it, and rotate, right? Yep. Where you just kept the connection. I think you should do the same exact thing with, the, with this shot right here. Just go back to a spot, and then rotate through, right? And I think that if you can just get that same connection, you're going to be good. Yep. It's going to help build your rhythm, though. Yeah. Did you see that ball flight? Yeah. A little different, right? Yep. And I mean, I've gotten to a point where, like, recently when I've been going on the course, I'm, I find the yardage, I kind of pick the shot I want to hit, and then I forget about the yardage. Good. And I hit the shot. Yeah, because you have the feel, way, right? Kind of figure out where it's going because I don't have everything down yet. Yeah. It's, it's been going really good. I mean, for the first time in my life, I'm not afraid to lay up on a par five. <laughs> That's awesome. Because it used to be every time, like, well, I mean, I'm going for it because if I can't get up and down with the wedge, it's just a par. Right. And I can make par from greenside, so. <laughs> You're like actually looking forward to the wedge shot now? Yes, exactly. That's like me. I was like, I used to be like, how many wedge shots can I get over the course of a round? Mm -hmm. It's great. Oh, wherever you want to go. No, hit wherever you want. But what, what I wanted him to, what I want you to do is like you're chipping, the wedge play, is it's all the same when it comes to distance control and being precise. It's how far you take it back with the pace that you do it. Yeah. So if those two become just a constant and you know certain spots to be for a certain yardage, mm -hmm. you go down to the short game area. And, and, and I don't, with chipping, I'm not focusing on certain spots. There's just yeah, a yeah. feel that you have to get it a certain yeah, distance. Yeah, for sure. But with the wedge distance control, I think it's important to have at least awareness of where the arms and hands stop. Mm -hmm. And my biggest piece of advice is, it's don't just place the club here. Use your body to move it there. You know, and I think a nice way of saying that is even if it's a short swing, you complete your swing to that point mm -hmm. with everything. Yeah. And then you rotate back through. And yep. that's ideal. And that's what I'm just teaching you right here. Um, with the drill is just get it back there, be patient, I feel everything go through together. Yep. Oh, it's so nice. That's it just, but here's the thing, it goes back to, it goes back to this. It's, uh, it's not about really what you're doing wrong. If there's anything that you are doing wrong, your swing's always so good. It's more about what you always need to do right. Isn't that, to me, that's like the practical way of doing it. I think that it's really good for you guys to just, you know, have a set game plan with that, with the short, with the short game and with the wedge play that, you, you know, is a constant. You work on the two variables, the speed and the distance you take it back. You go to the course, you have a clear mindset when you see a certain yardage of how far you take it back and you already know your rhythm. Yep. There it is. That's all you're doing. All the time. I think people have a harder time too stopping at shorter distances. You know, like right here for the 30 yarder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like pocket high, literally, that's in, in my mind. And a lot of times people have a hard time stopping at that distance because their arms immediately break away from their body and it's hard to reconnect. And that's why a lot of times I feel just through observing over all these years of watching golf, mm -hmm. that's where I see people get really struggle with 10, 15, 20, 30, 35 yards. Yep. Yep. And it's like, what, what do you do? You really got to have good hands, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you're quick. Right. Should I hit one like that? 
Yeah, do some short ones. Okay. I got to turn around that side. Well, here, here, here. No, no, come, come back over here real quick. I just want to show you. Yep. It's more about this. It's when, when, when you're setting up for a short one, you can't just set up like you're still going to hit the 65 yarder. You, you should shrink up the stance, yeah. get the weight even a little bit more left, mm -hmm. and do what you can to preset the angle of attack that you need to have. Yep. That way you wouldn't be out of the shot before. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. As the shot gets shorter, you want to do more with your body, like really get your body and the weight into it. You see how immediately hit the ball first there? Yep. And then good contact. Yep. yep. Yeah. There you go. Better, right? Way. Way better, yeah. Yeah, that's a great lesson in itself right there. Mm -hmm. Just the shorter the shot gets, to me it's like 30 and inside. Yeah. And sometimes you have that 40 yard shot where I mean, it just feels better to open the feet up a little bit and just hit it like a long chip. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you do to yeah. feel more control. But that's what that's all about. You want to really preset the angle of attack. You don't want to sit there and have the stance like this, like you're going to hit a 65, 70 yard shot. Because yep. then everything gets too, too scoopy, yep. their impact. You can really get into it like this, mm -hmm. same swing, and it just works yep. down through the golf ball. Sure. That's all you got to do. All right, good, let's hit some normal ones now, huh? Yep. But keep that same rhythm. Feel like you get it back there, have a moment where you just kind of yeah, let it collect. And weight lift up there, yeah. Absolutely, that's a great way to say it. That's good stuff, yeah. There, that was perfect. That was the best wedge he hit today. But I think the bigger lesson is not so much, it's just, okay, that's what you need to do. Like, see those two are, you can't hit a wedge any better than those were hit right there. Yeah, that was as good as you could hit a wedge. That was different, completely different. I mean, okay, it just so happened to be that you did all three of those perfectly correct. Contact came off exactly how it should, but to me, even if you hadn't hit them perfect, I love the rhythm and what you said about keeping it weightless in transition. Yeah. You can, it, it, that's a big one right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's big. So, yeah, it's awesome. That one's not going to be bad for when I catch heavy. How's the, uh, how's the driver going? Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll work on that. It's good sometimes. Okay. I think it's a timing issue, to be honest. I think I'm maybe a little under. I think I'm leaving it behind a little bit and then getting yeah. under. And then if I'm timing it well. Like, I played 36 yesterday and missed maybe two fairways with my driver. Okay. But the day before, it was... But is that is that a trick thing? Because your course has no rough. I played... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. I played Strawberry Farms in the morning, and I played... Cheers Creek in the afternoon both have bushes both sides of the fairway. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So it's good then. Well, it the day before it was really terrible. Oh, it was? Like, where was it going? Everywhere. Anywhere from a duck hook to a push slide. Okay. Which is why I think I was under and well, either... See, I just like, the only reason I smile is because I, I, I think about it immediately and I, I took them on the golf course enough to just see the, you know, the, t the tendencies. Yeah. You get so quick in that backswing. Mm -hmm. And I just think with that driver especially, being an extra long club, you just got to sweep it away a little bit more. Okay. And, and, and it, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that later, but yeah. it, I think it boils back down to the rhythm 
when he finds the proper rhythm for his, I mean, you can't put it in better spots in the golf swing. It's just about tying it together, make a consistent pace to it. I think it's going to change everything. That's so good, dude. Yeah, let's go back to like a, go like an eight iron. Yep. Hey, nice job on that. Yep. It's different, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson with Will. As you can see, he truly has an incredible game, great golf swing. Please, any questions you guys have, leave them below. Also, click the link in our description to pick up your free video course. We're here to make you guys better.